close your eyes and imagine as I whisk you away to bountiful fields, scorching desert and wonderful glistening waterfalls. That's right, we're going to be whisked away to Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom on the PlayStation 4 and PC. I'm here joined with Megan as well as she hey. is spirited away along with Where me. are we? Are we in New Game Plus Studios or are we playing Nino Kuni? Like, this, this is just a green screen. Yeah, yeah exactly. So we're going to be talking about this game in particular. It is the latest RPG to come out from Bandai Namco. Yes. Um, there's a huge departure from Studio Ghibli's involvement with yeah. the game, so um, there's a lot of red flags for a lot of people. But safe to say, rest assured, that the game does not falter. <laughs> this game is set 100 years in the future from the original Nino Kuni title, and it's really great as a standalone title. You don't even have to play the first one to love it as much as we did. Essentially, it's a beautiful RPG title which is played with the characters Roland, who is a president in his world, and gets transported into this magical cat kingdom. And he meets Evan, who has been uh, has been a mutiny at his castle and. The, like the kingdom is under threat from um, the mice race. Yeah, so cat, cats and mice, they they kind of like tables have turned essentially. Yeah, they and, band um, together. And they band together, yeah. So uh, Roland, um, as a presidential uh, figure within his uh, previous life, is teleported to this world. Mm -hmm. um, and his role is to kind of primp and um, and condition... Protect. And protect Evan, condition him to become um, the king he is rightfully meant to be. Yes. Um, and while he is ousted, he creates a kingdom of his own, which, uh, which I guess comprises of two major factions of this game, factors of this game. Um, so you've got your action RPG um, stylings where the game itself um is a heavy departure from the previous game where there's a lot less grinding, a lot less um, passive combat. Which, which is I, a, I really love yeah, that. Yeah. The less grindy is really exciting, but mm -hmm. like you did tell me that you felt it was quite easy compared yes. to the first one as well. Absolutely. But besides the fact that it was easy, um, mm -hmm. it was really well paced. So mm -hmm. from the start, it, the whole game introduces every element really nicely. It never feels um, uh, contrived, or yes. what was yep. the word you used? So it never feels like, it never makes you feel contri uh, contrived, nor does it make you feel uh, feel like it's kind of condescending. The That's game the never word. treats you with kid gloves yeah um, but like again it is a little bit easy but I find it less of a condescending easy and more of kind of a relaxing like this is the most relaxing JRPG I've played yeah. in quite a few years and there's still a lot of depth to the combat so the mechanics and the battle system are really fun mm -hmm. so you do get to uh, like pair up all the like really strong weapons to the armband that mm -hmm. you get so every weapon does its like max damage mm -hmm. in every battle the tactics tweaker allows you to do things like um, kind of uh, boost your resistance towards certain elements or monster types which yeah. is really cool too what did you think about when you apply all your aesthetic upgrades uh, you can't actually tell any difference on the character itself it's just purely for yeah, stats there's no aesthetic kind of purposes at all yeah. I mean the did game like looks that? the game looks pretty enough but yeah. I, I like how the game doesn't exactly ruin the aesthetics um, of just how everyone looks because everyone looks perfect Agreed. Let's be Very honest. beautiful. The, the visuals are fantastic. And what did you think about the fact there was no like um, voice acting in this game as much oh, okay. as I would like? So that's another big thing as well. With the first game, there was a lot of production value involved. Yeah, um, and this it's studio Ghibli related, but this yeah, one yeah. no more. This one not so much. Like yeah. the, it still retains the style and the aesthetics, but yeah. you know, there's a lot less dialogue, voice dialogue, um, no animated cutscenes. So that's going to turn off a fair few. People it was here sad, but at mm. the start of the game, this it's a really seamless transition between cutscene mm. and gameplay. But as you progress, it does become a little bit more disjointed where it's a bird's eye top down view of like yeah. a chibi environment and yeah, yeah. that was quite jarring as again I was like a little bit of consistency would be nice, yeah. definitely. Um, it doesn't detract from the experience too much. I mean, when it all comes down to it, Nino Kuni 2, it's still a game that you can that you, that you can enjoy for what it is. Um, it, it it never really sets out to become more than it actually is. Correct. Like it's it's very, it's it's very set in its ways. And you know, if you can appreciate that, you can appreciate it in in its form like, like that, I reckon it's it's still a pretty fantastic play. It's fantastic, mm -hmm. and not once did I ever regret losing 20 hours into a game and want that time back. It is something that you can really dedicate and get all the way through and love every second of it, so I really recommend you check it out. 